Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're talking about the 1969 tops and the errors and variations in that set. So kind of a cool set, kind of iconic. It's got the last Mickey Mantle card in there, a last base Mickey Mantle anyway. And uh, so kind of a sought after card. The set is kind of a classic 1960s, but it's kind of like black lines on a white background. I think it's kind of a no frill set there. People do like it. It's just kind of plain to me. This one is notoriously hard to get cards that are like centered. So if you're doing PSA grading, you know that this set can be a headache because they're just way off center like all the time. Sometimes it's worthwhile to even have like commons graded that are well centered just because they're kind of hard to find. So we're going to talk about some of those cards today. There is a couple of mystery cards in here. Uh, notable mentions is the uh, Johnny Bench second year card. So it's, he's by himself. He's not sharing the card with someone else. It's like a high book value of 150. Nolan Ryan also a second year card. He has the card by himself. Really cool looking card. Has a $200 book value. Reggie Jackson, Mr. October rookie card. Now he has the card all by himself. This is his rookie. And it has a high book value of like 300 bucks. Mickey Mantle's final year card is worth 400. And the biggest one is that Mickey Mantle white letter variant. We're gonna talk about those. We're gonna talk about that Mickey Mantle card a little bit more too. That one comes in at $2,000 as a high book value if you got that white letter variant. So I'm gonna throw up some pictures of that in a minute here. We are recording and uh, starting with number 47, Paul Popovich. There are three variations to this card, the most valuable one being worth 25 bucks. Okay, so he was traded from the Chicago Cubs to the Dodgers. So he's there in his Cubs outfit. Well, it's blue, so it can go Cubs or Dodgers, right? Got Dodgers obviously written on it. But on this hat is a C. And they tried to black it out. Um, but it's very evident that there's a C there. It's like a black C. So they came back and they airbrushed that. And there's something called the partial airbrush. That's this one here. And it's obviously covered, but you can see the bottom of the C. And for me, that's good enough. I don't think it's really visible. But that's the partial airbrush. The full airbrush, they came back and it's just a big old black splotch up there covering everything on his hat. Those airbrushes are $2.50 that error like I said is worth 25 bucks some of these errors are way overpriced it didn't cost me hardly any it cost me a fraction of that for that particular card so that's a little bit overpriced there but a cool one nonetheless with the three variations I love it so number 49 this is a rookie stars card with Steve Jones and Alicio Rodriguez now the error is on the is Rodriguez the way it's spelt on the front so it's got the Q-U-E-Z, where it should be G-U-E-Z. They did correct that. It's actually corrected on the back the whole time. But on the front, you can get both variations there. Supposedly, the errors were 25 bucks. The error, the corrected is worth a whopping $1.50. But there's a lot of these errors out there. So you're, it's not going to go for that, that price. So let's move on here. Robert Clemente has him as Bob Clemente. Well, that's not the error. I mean, he didn't go by Bob. Tops called him Bob. Uh, he went by Roberto. Rest in peace. Really cool guy. And obviously a valuable card because he's a good one. Um, this one's not in that great a condition, but normally it would book about 100 bucks. This is card number 50. And the there's an uncorrected error on this card. And it's kind of funny. So where it says bats and throws, it says bats right, bats right. <laughs> so it has bats on there twice. I love that one. So that's the Roberto Clemente number card 77. Ron Paranoski is our next one here. So just like the uh, Popovich, he was traded midseason, was traded from the Dodgers to the Twins. So he's wearing that blue outfit, which is kind of matching both out both teams there, but it has red letters on. It's clearly a Dodgers outfit. And if you look at his hat, there is an LA and it's also blacked out, but it's clearly LA, like you can see it. And they came back and they uh, corrected that by doing the same thing where they, uh, they, they covered it in with a big old black splotch there. And the error is worth 25, it's called the LA visible variation. And then 250 for the corrected one. Let's move on here. So Craig Nettles, 
He's a household name there in baseball cards. He's had a long career. This is card number 99. This is his rookie card. So because it's his rookie card, it has a high book value of about 15 bucks. But there's also an error on this one here. In the top left-hand corner of the card, there's a black loop. That's not supposed to be there. So that is the error. They corrected that and just took away the black loop there. But they're both really easy to find, and they both have the same value of 15 bucks. So whichever one you got is worth the same. All right, checklist number 107. This is with Hall of Famer Bob Gibson. On the back, number car, uh, car number 161 has Jim Purden. Jim Purden. Well, that's the error. His name is actually John Purden. They came back and corrected that. So I got two versions here, and that's it. Just his name is spelt on the back there. The error is worth six bucks. The corrected is worth eight bucks. So a little more value in the corrected one. They probably caught it late is the reason why. Clay Dalrymple, number 151. So this is cool because one card number and two different poses there. So he was traded. Now, like the other cards, um, they they reshot the picture and uh, they he was traded from the Phillies to the Orioles. The value is has a lot more value in the catching pose here, so less common on this one. It has a $15 book value. The corrected one is worth a whole buck 50. So that's it. Just considered a variation, but kind of cool to have one card number and two completely different cards. So let's move on here. Card number 208, Don Clendenin. So very apparent that they're the same card, same pose anyway. Same card number, but he was traded mid-season as well to the Expos. The Expos one is actually the one that's hard to find. It's worth 15 bucks. The corrected one is worth a uh, let's see here, 250. Moving on here. Now this one's kind of crazy here. So some of the poses in in this set were pulled from the previous year. So you look at 1968 tops and 1969 tops, and a lot of them repeat. Um, a couple come to mind, like um, Hank Aaron, right? That was one that, uh, anyway. So this Larry Haney one is an example of one where they use the same picture from the previous year, the 1968. He's a catcher, obviously. He's got the mitt there in his right hand, indicating he's left-handed. But that's the error. This is actually a reverse negative, and he is right-handed. He's not a lefty. I'll throw up a picture of both of them together. You can see they're clearly the same picture, but the 1969 one, this one here, is one where they reverse negative. Did they not catch that? It's just a weird error on that one. That's an uncorrected error. So they're all like that. Doesn't really have any value. A buck fifty. Rusty Stop number 230. This one's kind of funny. So he played for several seasons for the Houston Astros. It's a uh, misspelt on the back on one of the years. So in 1966, I'll throw up a picture, a scan here as H-O-U-S-T-O-N for Houston. But all the others are spelled correctly. So that was an uncorrected error that Rusty Staub is comes in about a $4 high book value. Gary Geiger, number 278. Batting wrong, just has the wrong. Now on the front it shows that he's a lefty, but on the back it shows he's right, bats right, and that's wrong. That one was not corrected either, has about a 250 book value. Came to colon also, $2.50, card number 319. This is probably my favorite error in the set there, where if you look at his stats headings, it's for a pitcher, but he's not a pitcher. Okay, he's a, he's a fielder. And now it's funny because the stats don't match up the heading. So it'll say like innings pitched. In one year he had 329. That's 500. <laughs> 529 innings pitched. And uh, like under strikeouts, it has two columns of numbers, which is his triples and his home runs. So it's like, I don't know how they didn't catch that. It's like they don't even match up with the headers on the back. So I'll throw up a picture of that one. And it's kind of kind of funny. They never corrected that one. And it's not really worth anything either. It comes in about a $2.50 a high book value. Card number 500. Yeah, you know this guy. This is a Mickey Mantle. This is his final year. And while there is that white letter variant that we're going to talk about here in a second, the card itself is also an uncorrected error. And it's simply because 
It does not have a copyright on here. I'm gonna throw a little on the side here of what it should look like, or you know, like a different card example of how the copyright is on the side. But they just didn't put it on this card, and that was not corrected. Now the card doesn't need any help with value. It's already worth four hundred dollars as a high book value, but they never corrected that one. So the same card has uh, some weird things going on with the white letters. So the last name comes in a white letter variant. That's the more common one. Well, less common than the corrected, of course, but uh, but they also have the Yankees on a white letter. And that seems to be a lot harder to find, even though Becca doesn't distinguish between the two. It's just called a white letter Mickey Mantle. There's 23 different white letter variants in this 1969 set. I'm not going to list them all, uh, but they're, they're all really valuable. I mean, even like a common one is going for like $30 or so. Um, just for a common card with that white letter variant there. So make sure you're consulting the Beckett on that because some cards have white letters that aren't a white letter variant, if that makes sense. So, <laughs> so um, don't be buying anything with white letters just because you think it's valuable. It has to be one of those 23. So kind of a weird error uh, that they did on that. And the Mickey Mantle here, I'll show the one with the team with white or yellow. So it's just kind of a weird one. And uh, yeah, let's move on here. Got a couple more. Card number 567. Now this one is one of the mystery cards here. Okay, so look where it says 1969 Rookie Stars. Has the black line on the outside and then on the inside of those words. Um, right above where my finger is. Now there is uh, some some rumors, I guess you can say, that the they didn't put the black line on the inside of those letters and that is the error. But Becca doesn't recognize that as an error. Um, I did some searching on the internet and there was one source that said that there was a fake one, <laughs> like a fake airbrushed or whatever, Photoshop, there we go, uh, version of this floating around the internet. So it may all be fake there. If you know anything about this uh, missing black line on this card, let me know in the comments. Here's a picture of like a side by side of the two, but it may not be real. So it's kind of interesting to know if there was, I could not find any on eBay on that one. Got a Tony Oliva checklist number 582. You can look on the back and see pretty quick what the problem is there. The circle on the center top is white on one and red on the other. They're considered variants, even though I definitely consider the white one being the error, since all of them were red other than that. But uh, let's see here. The white one is worth six bucks. The red is worth eight dollars. So the corrected one, which I consider the correct one, is a little bit more valuable. Card number 625, Mac Jones, batting wrong, incorrect on there. And last but not least is this guy. So if you've seen error cards before, you've seen this card. You kind of know what's going on. This is the Aurelio Rodriguez card number 653. It's not worth that much. It comes in about five bucks. And here's the thing. So this guy, Aurelio Rodriguez, um, this is his rookie card, but that's not him on the card. That is Leonard Garcia, a bat boy for the Angels. And I, I've heard a couple stories here where it was a joke or it was just a mistake where he stood in and took a picture real quick. Whatever the case is, it's the wrong player on the card. It's one of the more notorious errors. Tops did not catch it. It was not corrected. And... Uh, so I got a couple pictures of the real Aurelio Rodriguez please stand up. And then the real Leonard uh, Garcia, Aurelio Rodriguez played for several seasons. He was actually hit and killed by a car. Horrible, horrible story. Rest in peace. But that's the Aurelio Rodriguez error. Kind of a famous one. And I love some of these errors that are really cheap to pick up. I mean, if you want a, like a famous error for next to nothing, a couple bucks, go look for that one. Hey guys, that's all I got for you today. Thank you so much for tuning in. That's the 1969 top set. Kind of a cool one. Do you guys think it's plain, kind of cheap looking? Let me know. I hope you're still liking and subscribing. We're going to talk about some 1968 cards here pretty soon. Not sure when I'll get that one up, but we'll talk about the errors in that one next. Talk about that uh, weird background, but I appreciate you guys tuning in today and uh, hope you guys are all staying safe and healthy out there and not catching any viruses. Thanks so much for tuning in and we'll see you next time.